Hello everyone, um, I made a video a while ago about the uh, surface lures that I was using last year um, but unfortunately the quality was so terrible that I took it down um, the lighting was terrible, the sound was terrible so I thought I'd uh, do a rerun of that video and just go through the, the lures that I was using last year for surface fishing for pike and perch now most of these lures that I've got at the minute most of them came from uh, AliExpress um, a lot of people probably haven't bought from there before because they're a bit scared to uh, maybe put the bank details in or they don't want to be waiting months and months for, for the product to come but um, from my experience you should give it a try it's a really good uh, site um, I'm not saying that all the sellers are great um, you know I can't guarantee that everything's going to be uh, top notch but everything that I've bought from there has been has been really good uh, maybe one or two lures that I've just thrown in the bin because they were pretty uh, crappy quality and what have you but the majority of them have been really good um, so firstly the uh, the lure that I caught the most with last year was the trusty surface rat um, that's from Hunt House I think it's about nine centimeters something like that 15 centimeters in total and that rat there must have caught me well double figure fish anyway at least um, a few scratches on it you get them on uh, in the hunt house store sometimes between well between three and five pound cracking little lure really strong catch loads of fish that's the black version I've had a few fish on that not as many as I have on the brown one but I think that's just because I've used the brown one the most I just like the look of it cracking little lures you get them with some extra uh, tails that come with them um, and I've done a video it's on my YouTube channel of how to put these tails on You'll get a couple of spare when you buy one. Yep. So that was the best lure last year by far. The rat. That's uh, another lure by Hunt House. Or from Hunt House. It's a whopper plopper surface lure these are quite popular in america for bass fishing and things like that i thought i'd give it a go at first i thought it might be a bit too noisy and a bit too in your face for the pike but i did eventually get a really good pike on it uh, last year uh, and it hit it really hard it was a, a really good uh, a really good fish so yeah they're just uh, come along the top of the water as it's coming along it's giving it all that splashing and plopping as you bring it along the surface they don't actually float as such it will just sort of sit, sit in the water like that you have to give it quite a quick retrieve so that's why you get an explosive take because you're pulling it so fast the fish has to really go for it but yeah that seems to just annoy them and uh, make them strike out of anger but uh, really fun lures to use i really enjoy using that Um, these little things, these are off uh, AliExpress, these are by Hunt House, uh, I don't know, just a random company, you can get them from different stores on there, uh, it's called a Ciscada, I think that's how you pronounce it, uh, basically it's like a, a jitterbug, if you look at the big lip on it, that's a surface lure, again, this will actually sink slowly, it doesn't actually float on the top, but because you have to retrieve it quite quickly, it just sits on top of the water and it just shakes its backside as it's running along the top. Um, they're good little lures, really good for trout. I don't think I've had a pike on these yet, but the trout actually absolutely loved them. Um, if, you, if you're fishing for trout and you're using a fluorocarbon leader, then uh, that's even better because it won't sink as much. I've found if you've got a trace on and you're fishing for pike and perch, the weight of the trace tends to make it land upside down and can be a bit difficult to fish. But uh, with a fluorocarbon leader or whatever, 
or without a trace they work really well that's another one that I've got different pattern and yeah as I say if you ever go trout fishing uh, with lures stick a single look on them and uh, I'm sure you'll catch These lures, I bought these off AliExpress as well. These are just little top water cranks and little top water crankbaits. I thought they'd be good for perch. But I've actually had a couple of small jacks on that one, Fire Tiger pattern. That's not by Hunt House either, it's just a random company on AliExpress. I think it's called Leo Sport. But yeah, they're cracking little lures. Not had to change the hooks or the split rings or anything on them. They just work straight out of the packet and that just sort of hovers along the top half the body under the water half the body on the top and it just shakes along the surface nice little rattle in there as well but yeah cracking little lures that's one in fire tiger and that's a black one that i've got as well Uh, surface frogs I got that one off AliExpress I think just a, a random company on there called a frog ray or something um, really fun lures to use but they're not not necessarily most successful lure to use the idea is that when a fish grabs it the, the soft body pushes in and then exposes the hook and then the fish gets caught on the hook but um, I've had a lot of strikes on that I never actually hooked into a fish I think there's a technique to it. I think maybe I have to leave leave it a little longer before I strike. But yeah, the fun lures to use, and if it's really weedy, you can just skip it across the top. You don't have to worry about getting weed all over your hooks and what have you. So yeah, it's a good fun, fun lure to use, and hopefully I'll get a fish on it this year. That's a Savage Gear one, I think. Again, I've had quite a few hits on that, but never actually landed a fish. That's just got a single hook on that one. Again, when the fish clamps down, it exposes the hook and then catches the fish in theory. But as I say, they're really fun lures to use. You get some really explosive blow ups, but they're not necessarily the most uh, effective. But I'll keep trying. Next up, I like to use. Um, Sort of pencil lures, I think you'd call them, or cigar lures. This is a pencil popper lure, so it, it sits on the surface, shaped very much basic sort of cigar pattern, bit of a popper on the front. And yeah, well, if you use that like walk the dog style, it'll just scurry across the top of the water. Nice loud rattle in there. Had a couple of pike on that, I've had that for a few years now. I think I got this one on eBay. But it was less than a quid. I've not had to change the hooks, the split rings, or anything like that on it. And there's not even a scratch on it, and I have had a couple of fish on it. But yeah, that's a nice little lure to use. Similar to that is this one. I bought this one from a bargain shop years and years ago when I first started up pike fishing. And I just thought it looked like absolutely nothing natural that you're going to see. And I just wondered if it'd work. And it does work. Um, you see it's got like hologram pattern on it uh, very loud quite heavy get a good cast with it cast it like a bullet as well because of the shape of it it just sits on the top and as you do like a walk the dog it'll just scurry across the top of the water as fast or as slow as you like but yeah that seems to aggravate them loads um, I've had quite a few fish on that as I say it was only I think it was about a pound from a bargain shop cracking little lure This is a similar one that I got last year on AliExpress. I think they call that like a snakehead lure. It's a, a strange one because it's got like a keel in the middle. I've not got any other lures that have that. But I think the theory is that when it's on, sat on the top, it gives it a wider, a wider wiggle, if you like. Uh, it's also got two places where you can put your clip your trace on. If you clip it onto the top one, it'll just sit below the water. If you click on the bottom one, 
it'll come across the, the surface so it's got like two actions in one if you like I've not caught a fish on that yet but I haven't used it very much but yeah it's a nice looking little lure I'm sure it'll do the job And that's about it. So as I say, you know, it doesn't have to cost a fortune. Uh, any of them lures that I've shown you today um, will work and will catch a fish. Um, I think the most expensive one was probably the rat lure at like three or four pound, everything else. You know, just, just a few pounds. Um, so yeah, give it a try.